Welcome, this is Jeff with Armadillo Pepper, the hot sauce, barbecue sauce, jerky, and fiery snack store. Today, we're going to smoke portobello mushrooms. I like to smoke portobellas when I'm doing pork butts. And the reason is, is, is most of you know, the pork butt takes all day or, or most of the day to do. And these portobello mushrooms will pop out in about two hours. So there's certainly something to munch on uh, while you're waiting for the pork butts uh, to get done. Now, this is really simple. For two portobello mushrooms, which I have here, you need one tomato chopped, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, you need one green onion, or about two tablespoons of chopped onion. I like to put a heaping teaspoon of garlic. Uh, I used to do this recipe with uh, one clove, uh, but you know, cloves vary in size and that type of thing, so it's a little easier if you have two teaspoons and then two to three tablespoons of olive oil. And the last thing you'll need, just to spice this up a little bit, is one of your favorite hot sauces. Now, portobellos, as you know, are kind of meaty in terms of texture. Um, so I like to use a, a meaty type of hot sauce. Today, we're using a new hot sauce from Fat Cat called Cat in Heat. One of the things I like about this, you can see hopefully in the video, this is a real dark type red color. It's made with uh, roasted tomatoes, chipotles, and ghost pepper. Uh, it's got a real great flavor. Uh, don't be alarmed by the ghost pepper. Uh, they've done a great job uh, with taming the ghost pepper. It's not super hot. Um, we'll be doing a hot sauce review on this one before long. But it's somewhere in the, you know, the four to five range in terms of heat. And what you can do here is just uh, tailor the amount of hot sauce that you use, you know, based on your personal preferences. So, what we're going to do is prepare the tomatoes, I'm sorry, prepare the portobellos, then we're going to mix all the other ingredients together, and we're going to use it as a basting sauce for the portobellos. Now, as we prepare the portobellos, I've got the smoker on 225 degrees, and we're using mesquite wood today. Um, It'll only take about two hours. What we're going to do is uh, prepare the mushrooms, baste them, put them in the smoker at 225 for one hour, open the door, baste them again, and pull them out in the second hour. All portobellos have these gills on the bottom. You're going to want to remove those, and I find the easiest way to do that is just take a spoon, and if you'll look, they just scrape right out. So you're going to want to, for each of your portobello mushrooms, scrape the gills out, once they're all scraped out, you can just remove the cap. Then you want to uh, rinse these guys off real well and pat them dry before you make your uh, before you apply your marinade. Okay, we've got the chopped tomatoes. We're gonna add the olive oil. The garlic. Onion. And the Worcestershire. You just want to mix this up real well. And now what we're going to do is place these portobellos in the uh, smoker. Uh, well, I should say what we're going to do first is baste the portobellos, then we're going to place them in the smoker. All right. Just want to get them covered real nice. Okay. To both sides. Okay, we're going to place these guys in the smoker. Place them in where the gills were. Place the gill side down. Okay. Just stick these guys in the smoker. Like I said, we'll come back in one hour and we will baste them. It's been right about an hour. I'm going to baste these guys. It's been actually about an hour and 40 minutes. I pulled these guys out a little bit early uh, because it looked like they were done. You can see they have a nice uh, collar here, a 
uh, from the smoke. We're just going to give these guys a try. Absolutely awesome. They are sweet and a nice smoke flavor. I would really encourage you to try these smoked mushrooms the next time you're making a pork butt or a brisket. It's something you can pull out of the smoker early and let everyone enjoy. Again, my name is Jeff. You can check us out over at armadillopepper.com or see what we're up to over on Facebook.